Welcome to this guide for Concrete 5, where I will guide you from the very beginning uh, to the very end of working with Concrete 5. So what is it that this uh, tutorial or these video episodes will cover? We will create a static website with all content and layouts needed so that they can be properly converted later on into a Concrete 5 theme. We will install Concrete 5 locally. Then we create uh, convert the static website to a Concrete 5 theme. We create custom blocks. We use some of Concrete 5 methods uh, to make most uh, to, uh, make, to take most of the advantages of Concrete 5. And then we use the navigation and footer as global elements, so we only have to edit them on one page and not redo them every single time. And then we restructure our dev environment so we can deploy the local Concrete 5 to a web server. And from there on, then you can like work locally and on the production web server by pushing and pulling back and forth with Git. What is Concrete 5? I will compare Concrete 5 with WordPress. So Concrete 5 is a content management system uh, open source similar to WordPress. However, WordPress was initially made to be a blogging platform. And then during the last years, it changed a little bit more into a more general content management system where you actually now can create full, uh, full websites with it that uh, can be web shops or something else. So WordPress has many plugins, but also many of them are garbage. But there are many, many really good plugins. WordPress has a big community and there's also a lot of free themes. So you can say WordPress is suited for more general and basic websites. Or if you just want to get a job quickly done and if the budget is uh, very low or limited. Concrete, on the other hand, has a much better code base. So as a developer, you really can feel the difference uh, with working with Concrete 5 and WordPress because uh, honestly, I haven't built that many WordPress websites, but those WordPress websites that I've built and also developing uh, some custom themes, uh, it, it was quite difficult to, to get the hang of it. And then it's also really uh, a long journey because then you have to do changes here, you have to do changes here, and that really takes a lot of time. Concrete 5 also has a lot better security but it is because it is much more encapsulated. So there's not like it, it simply works out of the box really good and it's not as much as bloated as WordPress. So whereas WordPress has a lot of things going on, uh, Concrete 5 is very limited with things but not limited in functionality. So you as a developer, you can like really create the enterprise level applications. So therefore, yes, Concrete is something I would recommend if you need to create enterprise level websites, or uh, websites um, which should last for maybe a century or something. Because Concrete is not really updating uh, frequent, or uh, is uh, releasing updates frequently, but it doesn't really have to. Because I mean, at our company that I'm working for, we have a concrete website that is at least six years old and it still works really good. Um, on the other hand though, Concrete 5 has a very small community. So that's a downside. And that's also kind of the motivation why I'm creating this video because there's not really like an up-to-date tutorial about how you actually create a concrete website and how you work with it. I know there is on the Concrete homepage a small video how you convert a static website into a Concrete 5 website, but that's it and there's so much more to it. So I decided this, this needs to be done. And there are not many plugins for Concrete 5. So if you're looking for something specific, it either is expensive. So we're talking here about 50 to 100 bucks or you have to do it yourself. But I think as a developer uh, creating enterprise uh, websites, that shouldn't be a big, uh, a big uh, issue for you. So to get started, this video is all about the introduction for Concrete 5 and what we're going to do. Um, 
the next videos, I'm already going to start with the installation of Concrete 5, so I will skip uh, the creation of a static website because what I did is I created a very, very ugly looking block in Adobe XD, which let's say I got it from a designer or from the client and those are their requirements then. So here you can see my very ugly looking block. It consists of three pages, one front page with a big hero image and the text, then some blog posts here, some, yeah, a post here on this page and then an about page. But uh, before I begin in the next video about installing Concrete 5, I will of course go through the website. In order to create a static website, for Concrete 5, I created a boilerplate. Uh, I will link it down below in the comments. And why a boilerplate might be helpful for you is that when you create a, a static website, you simply don't want to create a static website as you're used to, but there are more, more things you have to keep in mind. Because Concrete, if we have now a look here at a quick Concrete installation, has, for example, a navigation bar in the top here also has some navigation bar on the left and also here on uh, on the right side here and on the left side here and that is uh, like that is the core that is the core uh, functionality of concrete so you create a website and then concrete is wrapped around it so what this boilerplate does is um it already is kind of like structured to be converted as a concrete five theme because all these elements in the top and right and left side they also need to be implemented in your theme so concrete knows where to access these elements and that is usually done by a custom class from call concrete called ccm page and that has to come directly after the body so in order to convert it actually into a concrete five theme, I then usually use a replace body element, which is then called body content. And first from there on, I will continue with creating the header elements, the main elements. So whatever goes inside the content and then the footer. And that, that just makes it much more easy to convert it later on into a concrete five theme without breaking stuff. So just like create or build your static website, with keeping this in mind that the CCM page is a wrapper around and that you have some kind of uh, placeholder replacement for the body tag. Moreover, Concrete 5 uses the preprocessor, a CSS preprocessor less. Many people of you might be used to SAS. I'm also more used to SAS, but um, I would totally recommend you then to also code your static website using less so you simply can later on import it over. There's not many big differences for, from SAS to less. However, when you work locally, you need a less compiler. Um, I think there is something called Koala. Look online for your uh, operating system, what solutions you have there, and then try to get up and running with that one. And also, one fi uh, two final things the, to remember when developing a Concrete 5 uh, theme is if you have a look now at our website here i'm now leaving the edit mode we have here a big hero image we have some stuff going on here and stuff going on here so concrete 5 what it is about it is as a big page builder or drag and drop page builder so when you have all these elements you can drag and drop it to the website and it simply works everywhere where you position it. So if I now drag and drop this below, it works down here. If I now want to add an element here in the customized footer area, I can simply click on the plus button here. I drag and drop it above. And then I can write here some custom text. Uh, I want to center that one. There we have it maybe a big uh, header then i save it so now i edit the page
And as we can see, my changes are working now. And also here in the bottom. So that is actually what Concrete is all about. It is just one big drag and drop page builder for your clients. So you have to create every single possible blocks for the client. And since one block should work on every single position on the page, you also then have to build blocks in that way that they work in every position. And if we now have a look, I already created my uh, a very ugly looking block here. I already created it. So this is the default page, this is one block page, and this is the about page. So if I want to have the hero image now after this recent blog post, I could simply do that by going to my installation here. And let's see, we have the big hero image, this section. If I now copy paste this below the block section here, then it should already work out of the box. So this is the default page. Probably am I not running a live server? Or it might be possible because I'm running exam in the background that there's some kind of confusion. Oh yeah. Oh, it actually worked. So the big hero image is So the big hero image is now in the bottom and this one is to the top. So try to create these sections so you can position them inside your page wherever you want to. I'm just going to move this one back up again. And then also one final final thing that I can tell here is try also to reuse blocks as much as possible so if you can see a pattern for some blocks then try to combine them into one big block so it so you give the user more uh, chances to create some special blocks for example if we have a look now at the front page this big hero image block looks similar to the one about from the about page here with the single difference that the height here is different than the one here on the front page so try to create one generic block there and then use some inline styling to make a di the difference here. So instead of having text align right here, you can make an inline styling for this hero image where you then send text align left. So later on, when you create a block, you give the user the chance to, uh, to specify if the te text should be left align, center align, right align, or what the height of this block should be. So that's it then for this episode. Next episode, we will then locally install Concrete 5 and then begin to convert this theme that I created here or this static website that I created here and convert it into a Concrete 5 theme. Also, will I then uh, link um, GitHub repository to the static website that I created here?